Assembling components by using the constraint tool, tangent constraint. Let's go up to our relationships panel and go to constraint. And in constraint, we're going to go to our third type, which is tangent. We have two different solutions. I'm going to start with the inside solution. I'm going to select, first I'm going to select the outside ring. So the outside face around the outside. Then in my select and selections, the second selection, which is already highlighted, I'm going to pick on the outside of the bigger uh, cylinder. And notice, I'm going to apply that, and I'm going to close it. You notice that that ring around the outside is, is actually tangent to this outside edge of this surface. And so I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go up to constrain. I'm going to choose tangent option. This time I'm not going to choose the inside. I'm going to choose the outside. I'm going to choose the outside surface out here first. Then at my second selection, I'm going to choose the outside surface of this cylinder. When I do that, I'm going to say apply. And notice how it now it's riding on the outside. So when I look at it from above, it's placing that on a tangent constraint on the outside of the, of the concentric uh, circle of the cylinders. So we essentially then, we can also place an offset if we like. Uh, so we can position so far off the edge. But we pick the two different surfaces. We pick the solution whether we want it in or outside. And remember, we can always pick the part first. This is for very complicated uh, files in which we have a hard time selecting the surfaces or the edges we want. We can pick the part first and then pick the surfaces or the edges second. So when we place a constraint, we're placing the tangent constraint in this case.